What up, y'all? It's PBJ back at it again with another video. Crumble cookie. Got the little setup here. Shout out to my mom. So, it's my mom's day off work today. Decided to get some crumble cookies. Last time we were going to get them, we were just shy of the loyalty points. It was like 97 out of 100. Three points left. Every time you buy some cookies, you know, they give you a certain amount of loyalty points if you, you know, give them your number or whatever. So we were just shy of it. So this time, my mom had a good strategy. We get one cookie, it's like $4, and it would give us the rest of the points. And then we could get $10 off of four cookies. So we go today. And first thing I want to say is we go in there, we do it. At first, we were a little concerned because it still said $14, but actually, it's like crumble cash. So kind of, it's confusing. So if that happens to you, it's just crumble cash. But either way, um, we go to you know get the cookies. I'll show you the flavors for a week in a second here. But I just want to mention these two cookies in the bags here. I think it was like the most wholesome moment. There's just this woman there smiling, and she basically said, if you leave a review um, on you know the store on Google whatever, we will give you a free cookie. You know they didn't specify like five star review. They just said like you give us a review, we'll give you a free cookie. Like if you each do a review, we'll give you a cookie. And I was like, that is so smart. Like my mom and I looked at each other, that is so smart. It's like they're almost bribing people because you're not going to sit there and leave a bad review for a free cookie, you know, but like, it was just so cool. It's such a good thing to market. So Chesterfield, uh, Michigan, crumble cookie. That's this place. So we're going to go over some of the flavors here. Uh, this one in the single box here is caramel apple. Looks really good. Uh, some of these are going to be Probably a bit challenging to eat without making a big mess, so I'm probably gonna take bites over the sink. But I think we should just start off with this one here. So, yeah, the presentation though, 10 out of 10. That, that is a wonderful looking cookie, like I must say. So we're gonna try to eat this, or take a bite out of it over the sink here. First thing I did notice is the frosting is like, your hand like goes through it, like usually with frosting, it's a bit more like dense, so, Frosting already tastes good. That's a good sign. So let's see if I can get this out of here without too much trouble. And this, that's a big cookie, like, you know what I'm saying? So, without further ado. That's the one right there. Oh my goodness. Gotta put it back before I eat the whole thing. 10 out of 10. Wow, I took like a perfect bite out of that. That's crazy looking. But that's a good cookie. Like I've had crumble cookies before. Sometimes they're a really big hit. Sometimes they're a miss. And sometimes they're meh. A uh, week, week or two ago, they had an almost everything bagel cookie. Worst cookie I've ever had in my entire life. But this is like the best cookie I've ever had in my entire life. It's like caramel apple. Right when you bite into it, you can taste the apple. Like... It was just an amazing cookie. I'd give that a 10 out of 10 for sure. And it's cool when they have like unique cookies because no other cookie place that I know of is doing this, you know? No other cookie place is really like having unique flavors, but here are some of these flavors of the week here. So we're gonna try to go over them here. So this is the signature uh, milk chocolate chip. They have it every week. This is uh, m and This is uh, Blue Mint. And then this is the uh, pumpkin swirl or something like that. And it just like, they all look really good. One thing I do want to say is usually the cookies are very appealing looking with crumble. Like usually I don't look at a cookie and I'm just appalled by it. Like usually they're very good looking. The presentation is always good. Like especially with the caramel apple, like presentation, like it's like you're tasting it before you even eat it type of thing. But, um, I don't even think there's a need to try the milk chocolate chip, but we'll give it a bite just because. You can never go wrong at Crumble with getting the milk chocolate chip. It was fantastic, it was good. I'd give that, I said I'd give it a 10 out of 10. I don't know what could really be better about that cookie. But here we have 
the M&M one. So let's give this a bite, see what we think about it. This one is definitely not my favorite. You bite into it and it's really chewy, but I don't, I do like M&Ms a lot, but it's like you could taste more cookie and the cookies just kind of eh. So I think what the, I see what they were trying to go for, but I didn't really, I wasn't really feeling this one. I'd probably give it five out of 10. It's okay. All right, so moving on to the blue mint. I'm taking like perfect bites out of these. That's actually kind of interesting looking. It looks like Pac-Man or something. But the blue mint. And it's very interesting looking. I didn't even think the bottom would look like that. It looks very interesting looking. It looks like uh, waves almost. So I, like I said, the presentation on all of these is a 10 out of 10. They look really good. Wow, I didn't expect that. So, right when right when you bite into a lot of these cookies, you can immediately taste them. Like the flavor is usually like right there. And this it was like very cool, like a piece of five gum almost. Like I bit into it, immediately tasted the mint. The cookie's a bit harder, but it's like I don't even know. It's like you're biting into ice cream almost because of the way like the frosting on top. You know, I just thought it was very interesting. Um, really good, like. It just tastes like blue mint. It's kind of a weird thing to say, but that's a good cookie. I'd probably give it a... I'll say I'd give that one probably a 9 out of 10. thought it was really good. So I had to take two bites to make sure. But cool thing about this pumpkin cookie that I want to mention. Some of their cookies, and this is kind of what's unique about crumble cookie. Some of their cookies are more like not as much of a cookie as it is more like a soft piece of bread so one week they had like a french toast cookie and it was amazing but it, it was like you're biting into french toast so it's like their cookies are so unique they're expanding past a cookie so i think that's really interesting and this looks like it's going to be more like a soft piece of bread rather than a cookie so presentation like i said 10 out of 10. oh yeah i can already feel it it feels like a soft piece of bread upon the touch I can already tell. Usually when it looks like this, it's going to be very good. So, let's see. Yeah, it's between this and the caramel apple one for my top spot. This one, I don't want to like break it, so we're going to set this down here. And I noticed this one, I don't know if it's just the way they made this specific one. It's more in like an oval shape here. But right when you bite into it it's like a soft piece of bread it doesn't feel like a cookie like very good like you immediately taste the pumpkin you immediately taste the frosting just phenomenal i'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 because it's like something unique and they did it right usually if somebody does something unique like some company or something it's either a hit or a miss it's either really good or really bad that was really good so honestly if you're going for the flavors this week my personal recommendation, oh, we don't have the pink sugar, by the way, just because it's usually always there. And, you know, it didn't seem too unique to get. But if you want to get your cookies this week, I highly recommend this caramel apple and then the pumpkin swirl. Just phenomenal cookies. You can't go wrong with them. And if you really want to play it safe and you don't want to try something new and you just want to try a crumble cookie, I would get some milk chocolate chip. You could literally just walk in there at Chesterfield, Michigan, and I don't know if other crumbles are doing this, but get a free cookie. So you don't even have to pay anything. You walk in there, you give a review, get a free cookie. I mean, how could you go wrong with anything that's free, right? So, yeah, so the cookies were good this week. I just want to say thank you to all the nice people at Crumble. If you're seeing this, thank you very much. And, and shout out to my mom. Thank you for getting the Crumble cookies and helping me record and everything. And... Yeah, that's about it from me. So like, comment, subscribe. And those two words I say at the end of every single video. Stay jacked. We'll see you in the next one.